Hey, spider right here, nextgentactics.com for NGT Zombies. This is Call of Dead uh, Easter Egg Part 3. Now, I know Guns has already posted uh, Part 3, but there's a different version. There is a different version for solo mode. The first two parts are exactly the same. You gotta get the fuse, you gotta install the fuse as the first part. The second part is destroying the generators, and this is what we're doing right here. We're actually destroying the generators. We actually have the upgraded, uh, that upgraded uh, sniper rifle. It's the, uh, the Hyena Infradead. I love it. It's hilarious. The upgraded scavenger. All right, the domes are in so, little bitty pieces. What do you need now? We're going over to the door again. That's the door where uh, Richtofen and Takyo and those guys are supposedly inside. And uh, we're just asking them, okay, what's next? What's next? And, you know, they're doing their jibber-jabber or whatever. Um, but uh, after you talk to them, and you have to talk to them uh, for each step of, of the, uh, the Easter egg. So before the fuse will even appear, you have to go to the store, you have to talk to them, and then the fuse will appear. Uh, you know, after the fuse is done, I believe, you have to go to the door again, and then they'll tell you about the generators. So we're going to the door again here, and they're telling us about the, the long golden rod. And listen, you hear that? So there's some some friggin' repeating noise or something going on here. I don't know where the hell's coming from, but yeah, it didn't. You didn't actually start hearing it until you after after you talked uh, to those guys. So we go outside and look at that. There's some light shining up there in the sky. All right, so we're like, well, what the heck? And um, me and uh, Cryptic are actually going through this uh, together, trying to figure this stuff out. And we're like, okay, <laughs> so Cryptic, yeah, I'm gonna snipe it. All right, snipe the light. <laughs> Maybe the ray gun. Try the ray gun. Do it. Do it. Try the ray gun. No, 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 no. Anyways, listen, we figured this crap out. All right. It's Morse code. It's Morse code. So all I did, and it's basically a series of dots and dashes, right? Uh, separated by pauses in the uh, the sound and the light. So we basically took the uh, the pattern down. This is the full pattern, okay, from start to finish. So that's it. That's the full Morse code pattern. So, uh, it's these levers. It's the levers in uh, the bridge. We're gonna throw. Uh, we're gonna actually reset them because we've been playing around with it a little bit. So left slow, right full, and to right. Now we've actually been playing with this because uh, it actually only required uh, one right. Because uh, again, we were playing around with it. Uh, I'm pretty sure from the start position, if you hadn't. Uh, turn that wheel, it would be too right after those two levers are in place, left slow, uh, right full. So now the light's solid. Now look at this. What's this green light? What's we got a green light shining up into the top of the lighthouse. What the heck's going on? We have all these lights. I mean, one, you got the lighthouse light for the pack-a-punch. You got the light for indicating the freaking mystery box. Now you got this green light that's pointing up into the the... Uh, the lighthouse, but what's what's the, where's the light originating from? I don't know. It's like some spot over there. All right. Well, that's cool. Let's go check it out. What? Do we, okay. So here, here we're getting uh, actually closer to the the location of the light. Just taking a look. We're we're investigating and seeing if we can give it. It's a sub. It's a sub. Are you kidding? 
Look at that! It's a submarine! Nice! And the light's shining up from the submarine. So now, well, what do we do? What? Okay, it's pointing up the lighthouse. We're checking it out. And we didn't shoot anything yet. So let's go see. I mean, it's obviously, it's some kind of, I don't know, if it's some kind of beacon or what. But obviously, it's shining up there. Uh, maybe that's like the rescue sub or something. It's like, I feel like we're in, we're on Lost, only it's not a tropical island. It's a freaking, you know, deathly cold Siberian island. <laughs> and the sub's here to take us away. So we're going to go look. Look at that. So the light is actually being redirected down the entire shaft of the, um, the stairwell here in the lighthouse. But there's nothing at the bottom. There's nothing at the bottom. Uh, so what's oh, up with that? Shit. This is a shit day in Shitville. This is a shit something in Shitsville? Oh, okay. So what, you know, I mean, we can't do anything up top. We're just trying and check it out. We're just sort of examining the map. Is there anything else out here or what? We're going to go back down to the door. And the guys don't want to say anything. So obviously we're not done. We're not done. But, you know, we're not sure what to do here now. What's what, what's up? What do we do? We can't, I mean, we can't go to the top. We can't even see the top because we can't, I don't think we can look up like that. Uh, but that light's definitely shining all the way down. And there's obviously a next step. Uh, you know, we're not, uh, we're not exactly sure. Maybe it has to do with the dials in the lighthouse. Uh, we're going to check out here, see if there's anything up here. There's a radio. Uh, we'll do a separate video for the radios for sure. And, uh, so that light's solid. We got this green light shining up from this, uh, this, uh, submarine. Um, maybe we have to go back in time or something, like on Lost. We go back in time and, you know, everything, we're actually angels. We're all angels or something, or we're not even alive anymore because we're on this island and we're all dead, actually. <laughs> I don't know. I never got the ending of Lost anyway. I'm like, oh, I don't get it. It's kind of weird. Uh, but, um, you know, maybe we got to be the savior of the island or something. But, yeah, we really, we're kind of uh, at this point, we're going to um, keep investigating. Again, the solo Easter egg ha is different than the co-op. On the co-op, the third step was like a vodka, a bottle of vodka or something. I never actually watched it, but uh, Talking to Guns, they, uh, they did this vodka thing, which you actually need more than one person to do. But uh, there is also a solo ending to this Easter egg, supposedly, because I think it's part of the achievement. Um, so we're going to figure it out. We're working on it. We're working on it. We thought we'd get this out to you right away. Make sure you guys had it. But it was kind of interesting with that uh, that Morse code. But the thing is, it's, it's sort of kind of easy because, I mean, if you just played around with this lever, those levers and got lucky, you could probably get, you know, you can probably get to where we are now. So I don't know if anyone's actually translated that, uh, that light and the sound uh, from Morse code. But yeah, we used an online Morse code translator and decoded it. So I thought it was pretty cool. Anyways, that has been, uh, yeah, step three for the solo Easter egg. Hope you guys liked it and we'll uh, keep in touch and make sure to bring you the latest as we find it. Thanks, guys, for Next Gen Tactics NGT Zombies. I'm Spiderbite and I'm out. Looking for an awesome free game to play? Try War Inc. Battlezone with tons of weapons, equipment, and highly customizable characters. Sign up now and receive exclusive NGT bonus items such as 10,000 gamer points, 30-day rental of the XM8 Assault Rifle, and 14-day rental of the 2x XP Boost item. Click the link in the description to download this awesome shooter game now, absolutely free.